buying more memory directly from Apple has always been very expensive. $2,600 to go from 8GB to 128GB on the latest iMac. Thankfully, it can still be easily done within minutes for less than $600. Yep, that's $2,000 in savings. Hi, this is David of tech baba a channel I share my experiences on how technology enhances my time with kids and family as a dad. If this is your first time here, welcome. Please consider subscribing. In today's video, I'll go over how easy it is to add more memory to the 27-inch iMac. It's one of the few upgrades we can still easily do, so definitely take advantage of it if you haven't done so already. With much more elbow grease, we could also make the iMac even faster by swapping out the old mechanical hard drive for a solid state drive. But that's much more involved. I'll link a video on that soon here and below in the descriptions if you're feeling brave. Adding memory is much easier. If you only have 8 or 16 gigabytes of memory on your new or old iMac, the best and the easiest way to make it go faster is to add more memory. It only takes a few minutes to do and it's much cheaper than buying the memory upgrades from Apple. For example, on the latest 2020 iMac, it costs $2,600 to go from 8 gigabytes to 128 gigabytes of memory. 128 gigabytes of the same type of memory costs only 588 today. Okay, 128 gigabytes may be overkill for most of us. Let's look at just 32 gigabytes, which is reasonable these days. To go from 8 gigabytes to 32 gigabytes, Apple charges $600. The same type of memory can be had for just $130. That's a savings of $470. If you're buying a new 27-inch iMac, just get the minimum memory config and add more on your own later. In fact, you can easily add more memory the same way on older 27-inch iMacs all the way since late 2012. I have a late 2013 model here. Let me show you how I add 16 gigabytes to it in just minutes. There are four memory slots on these iMacs. Mine came with two slots populated, each with a four gigabyte module for a total of eight gigabytes of memory. A quick Geekbench run shows a baseline of 725 single core and 2244 multi-core performance scores. Let's add these two eight gigabyte modules to make a total of 24 gigabytes of memory. The memory slots are in the back of the iMac under this cover just above the power cord. Be sure to shut down the iMac first. Unplug the power cord and other cables from the iMac. Have a clean and soft towel or blanket over a flat surface and carefully lay the display face down. Pop open the memory compartment cover by pressing this little gray button right above the AC power port. I found a pen cap works well since my fingers are too fat to get into it. The cover is only held in by these tension springs on all sides. There's a diagram in the back showing how to use the levers and the orientation of the memory module for this particular iMac model. Push these two levers on the sides outward to release the memory slots. You can see that there are four memory slots and two of them, slot one and three, are occupying my iMac. To remove the memory module, Pull the module straight up and out. Notice how there is a notch on this memory module a little bit to the right of the center. The orientation of this notch needs to be aligned to the ones in the slot. Since I'm adding two new modules of different memory capacity, I'll put this 4GB module back to slot number 3 and put the two new 8GB modules in slots 2 and 4. When the modules are mixed in capacity, we want to minimize the difference between channel A, which is slot 1 and 2, and channel B, which is slot 3 and 4. The particular slot wouldn't matter if you're replacing all four with the same memory modules. Just need to make sure the notch is aligned in that case. Install the module by pressing firmly until you feel the module click into the slot. After the modules are installed, push the memory slots back into the compartment until the levers lock back into place. Then push the memory cover back in, and that's it. Let's start it back up and see if we can see these new memory modules and if the performance is improved. On the first boot up after adding or rearranging the memory modules, iMac will perform a memory initialization which can take up to 30 seconds. All right, we can now see under Apple logo about this Mac, memory, there they are. The two new 8GB modules along with the two old 4GB modules for 24GB of total memory. Geekbench now shows better 800 single core and 2656 multi-core scores. In addition to improving the CPU performance, adding more memory will allow more headroom before multiple apps or just too many Chrome pages slow down the iMac. Thanks for watching. 
If you find this video helpful, please also help me out by hitting the like button and sharing the video with others. Feel free to let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about the memory upgrade. I'll try my best to help. Subscribe and turn on the bell if you want to see more videos on how technology can enhance our life with kids and family. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, cherish each moment.